Hey there, YouTubers. Kitten Hoarder here, and you're watching Session Report, the show that takes you to the gamer's table to share in the surprises that come out during play. And we're ready for more uh, adventures on the Red Planet with Terraforming Mars. All right. Um, so we are just about to begin Generation 6. If you missed the first video where we went through the rules of the game and the Generations 1 through 5, make sure you go back and watch that now. Uh, but we're going to move on to Generation 6 and see if we can't make some progress on some of these other um, terraforming goals other than just raising the temperature. So we're going to move the Generation Marker up and draw our new cards and see what we have available. Okay. So this one looks good. It can give me some plant generation. Um, this one lets me raise the temperature by two steps. Definitely a good idea. Uh, and again, it will give me minus two victory points at the end of the game, but for the solo game, that's not a huge deal. We have this uh, immigrant city. Every time a city tile is placed, including this one, increase your mega credits production one step. This would be perfect. This would. This is another game that, or another tile that would be great in a multiplayer game. Not so good in the solo game because cities mainly get you points. So other players are going to be placing cities. I haven't really touched cities very much in the solo game. And then this one is just pure points. The interstellar colony ship. So probably not going to grab that one either. Um, if I felt like I was well on the way toward winning, I could grab some of these cards that would be, give me more victory points. But since it's a little iffy at this point, I'm going to let them go for now. Um, let me see. How soon do you think I can get up to negative six? I'm probably good. So we're going to get rid of these Interstellar Colony Ship and Immigrant City. And then we have these two I am going to grab. So it's going to cost me six. I'm going to put that ten away and grab four in change, especially because this nuclear zone has an earth tag on it, so it's going to cost me a little bit less to play it. Uh, that's perfect. Okay, so um, we have a few things we we're going to do today. First thing we're going to do, or this generation, first thing we're going to do is pay one, and we're going to build the earth office, which means every time I play an earth tag, um, I pay three mega credits fewer for that card. All right. Um, and then another thing I'm going to do right away is increase the temperature one more step. So I'm going to spend eight heat and bump up the global temperature. And that is going to take me to the next level where I get a um, heat bonus, a heat generation bonus for that, which means I'm going to go over here to 10. So I'm generating 10 heat every round now. Um, and I can actually do that twice. So I'm going to do that one more time. Uh, and bump it up one more. And one thing I forgot to do, make sure I remember to do, is I'm going to increase my terraform rating by one every time I uh, achieve one of those goals. I hope I remember to do that every time. Well, there's actually a really good way to check because I've got my plus terraform rating from a card, plus two from this card. Um, and let me see. Yeah. Uh, and that's that. So other than increasing temperature, that should be the only way I've increased my terraform rating. So I can just check. I started out at 14, 15, 16, and then I went up 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. I should be on 22. Let me check that again. So I started out at 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. Yeah, so I should be on 22 Terraform rating, unless I'm missing something that bumped my Terraform rating down by one. But I don't think so. Okay, so I am at negative 18 degrees. I still need to raise it up quite a few degrees before I can start playing these. Um, unfortunately, they're not going to do me a whole lot of good, but they should give me something at least to work with. Um, okay, so then... I might as well play this nuclear zone because it's going to cost me three less to play. So it's going to cost me only seven. I'm going to spend this 10. I'm going to get three back. And I'm going to play the nuclear zone. And that means I place 
the uh, nuclear tile right here. Um, and I believe I can place that tile anywhere and then raise the temperature by two steps. So where am I going to put the tile that's going to be most beneficial to me? I could put it somewhere up here where I can get some plant tags, or I can put it somewhere like down here where I can actually get a free card draw. And I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to place the tile right here, show that I own it, and I'm going to get a free card draw for that. So let's see what I get. Tardigrades, completely useless in the solo game. It only gets you victory points, but you know what? That's fine. And then I have one, two, three, four, five, six mega credits left. Plus I can get two from my heat, so I could get up to eight mega credits. Um, let's go ahead and use the Inventors Guild and see what they've cooked up this round. Solar power, increase your energy production by one step. That might be a good card to have on hand. I mean, I'm already got a huge amount of heat generation. I'm going to be generating 10 heat every round, which means 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 more rounds. That's 10 more steps up at the temperature. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. I really don't need that much more heat, especially because once I start building up my oxygen, I'm going to get one more temperature just for that. Hmm. But on the other hand, if I buy this card now, um, it has a building tag on it. So I can eventually pay for it if I just let it sit in my hand for a few rounds. I can eventually pay for it completely with steel. Solar power. Yeah, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna say no on this card. I think I don't really need that much more. Uh, yeah. I think I don't really need that much more energy production. Um, I should be spending my money on trying to put out greeneries and aquifers, probably, because I'm not getting a whole lot of plants. And I think, once again, I'm going to hold off on getting this uh, business network. I can always get it next round. Let me see, is there anything else I can play? Tardigrades. Honestly, tardigrades are not going to do me any good, so I might as well sell the patent. And you can sell the patent for one mega credit. So in this case, I'm just going to hold on to it in my hand. I can sell it later on when I need that one extra mega credit for something. Um, so I think that's it for that generation. We're going to put this back, and we're going to get our production. So we're going to move the energy over this way, and we're going to get our mega credits, which is 23. We're going to get one steel, one titanium, one energy, and 10 heat. And then we're going to move the generation marker up and draw four more cards. Okay, let's see what we got here. So adapted lichens, this would be really great. It would let me start generating plant resources, which at this point, it would get me seven plant resources over the course of the game, which just doesn't sound like a lot, but you know what? It might just be what I need. Um, when you pay a card, you pay one, two mega credits less for that, but you need seven science tags to play this. I only have one science tag, so I'm not going to be getting the, the anti-gravity technology. I probably will be buying the adapted lichens, um, and... I won't be getting peroxide power. Let's see, do I have, I just have the one science tag, so probably don't really even have enough for tectonic stress power. We're gonna not stress, ha ha ha, about that, but we will get the adapted lichens because that'll let me start generating plant resources. So grab that, let's pay three, and I can put that out this turn. Let me see. Um, Let's do that. So we're going to spend nine, and we're going to put out adapted lichens, and we'll get start generating plant resources every round. Just going to trickle in, but you know maybe that's enough to get me 
one extra greenery tile over the course of the game, and that might be what gets me the win. Okay. Um, let me see. I should probably bump up my temperature. So I've got 13, um, which means I can bump it up once. So I'm going to spend 10, get 2 back. And I'm going to bump it up once, increase my terraform rating by one. You know, I'm kind of feeling like I should have taken some of those energy production things, if only so that I could then bump up my heat, my temperature by two every round instead of just by one every round. I'm kind of feeling like I missed out on that opportunity. But who knows, you know? We'll see. And then let's see what the Inventors Guild has this round. Shuttles. When you pay a split, play a space card, you pay two mega credits less for it. I need 5% oxygen to play it. I'm not going to grab shuttles. All right. Still don't need tardigrades. Can't play most of these. Um, you know, I'm just going to go ahead at this point. I will play the business network. Cost me three less. And we'll see what the business network has to offer me. Space mirrors. Spend seven mega credits to increase your energy production by one step. Now, the nice thing about this is I would be able to purchase it for free using my titanium. My titanium would fully pay for this, but then I would still need to spend the seven to increase my mega credit or to increase my energy production. Let me see. How much do I have right now? I have 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. And I could use heat if I needed to. Yeah, I really should have gotten those energy production cards earlier. So I could have had more heat, which is basically just free money. How much did I have again? 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Not even enough to get an aquifer or a greenery tile. Yeah, we'll grab this one. That's fine. Let's see, how much? Eh. Hmm. No, we're not going to grab this one. I think it's too much of an investment at this point. Is it? It's free. No, nah, we're not going to grab it. Sorry. Okay, so what else can we do this round? We really can't do anything. We're just going to hold on to our money for next round and hope against hope that something good comes up. All right, so I'm going to end the round. I'm going to move our energy over to heat going to get some money, which is now 23, 23 mega credits. And I should have bumped this down one when I bought the business networks. Um, one steel, one titanium, one plant, one energy, and 10 more heat. All right, we're moving on to generation eight. Hopefully things pick up soon. Um, oh, this looks pretty good. Decrease your energy production one step. Increase mega credit production three steps. Uh, increase your steel production. Grass, that's what we need. And we can play it right away. We're definitely going to by grass. Arctic algae. When anyone places an ocean tile, gain two plants. And it must be 12 degrees or colder to play it. Let's go ahead and grab this one too. Because we're going to, like I mentioned, we're going to have some trouble. So we're going to spend six. We're going to get four back. We're going to have some trouble uh, getting these other two goals done. And we will get rid of these two cards. 
All right, so I want to make sure I play Arctic Algae before I lose my opportunity. So we're going to play Arctic Algae right now. It's going to cost me 12, so we spend 12 mega credits. Oh, and this is a permanent card, so put it up there. Whenever anyone places an ocean tile, including me, I gain two extra plants. Um, and I'm going to be placing ocean tiles fairly soon. Um, and I can play grass, so I'm going to play grass as well. And grass is six, requires 16 degrees or warmer. I increase my plant production up by one, and I gain three plants immediately right away. Okay, then I can also increase temperature, so I'm going to spend eight, get two back. And we'll increase temperature by one, increase my mega or my terraform rating by one, increase temperature again, increase terraform rating again, and we'll spend the rest of this heat, the other eight that I had. All right, and anything else that I can do? Um, let's see, what is it now? It's at negative 12, which is perfect. Um, pretty soon, next time I increase it, I'm going to be able to get bushes. Then the next time after that, I'm going to get permafrost extraction. The next time after that, I'm going to get tundra farming. And things are going to start to accelerate. But is it fast enough? We really don't know. Um, let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Exactly. So I'm going to trade all of these in for one of these. And let's see what the Inventors Guild has. Huh, that's pretty good. Arrow breaked ammonia asteroid. It would give me three heat production and one plant production. I would have to add two microbes to another card. I don't have any microbes. I think I can still play this. I'm not quite sure on the rules, but I'm pretty I think I would still be allowed to play this. But it's so expensive. Now, I could pay for it mostly with titanium as I continue to build up titanium over the course of the game. But since it's mainly giving me heat production, which I already have a high number of, uh, I don't know. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's such an expensive card. We're going to pass on that because by the time I play it, uh, well, I could, let's see, 10, 13, 16, 19, I could play it next round. Give me three more heat production, which is three more mega credits every round if I really wanted it to be, and one more plant production. It's going to cost me three to purchase it, too. Yeah. I'm going to check on whether I can actually play this if I can't add two microbes to another card. Okay, so I checked, and yes, I can play this card even if I don't have any cards that I can put microbes on. Um, this is one of the major exceptions. So I'm going to buy this one, which means I get seven in change. and put this to my hand, and then I'm going to see what the business network has for me today. Um, duplicate the production box of one of your building cards. Duplicate the production box of one of your building cards. I assume it means this whole box I can just duplicate. Now that's an incredible power. I really like that one. For instance, I could do that greenhouse gas factories again. That's a fantastic power. I'm definitely getting this card. All right. definitely buying this one. So again, it's going to cost me three. I get two in exchange and I'm running low on money again. But you know, I got some fantastic cards for next round and I just really hope that uh, I'm going to be able to play everything I need to play before the end of the game. Okay, so let me see what else. Sun is starting to set here, so hopefully you can still see it okay. Um, Let's end the round, I think. So, like that. 
And I can't afford to play anything else. I only have four. I could play tardigrades, but I don't need those. Alright. And we'll move our uh, energy into waste heat, and then we will gain some more resources. So I'm getting 25 per round now, so that's 25 like this. And then, of course, one steel, one titanium, two plants at this point, one energy, and still 10 heat. Okay, perfect. And then um, I will move the generation marker up. So we've got five more generations about. And draw my new hand of cards. Ooh, strip mine. That could be good. Decrease your energy production by two steps. Uh, unfortunately, I can't decrease it by two steps because this can't go negative. Um, so I would need to get more energy production first. But if I could do that, that would be really awesome because it gets me two oxygen for playing the card. Um, so I'm not sure about that one. This one could be good. Technology demonstration, just draw two cards right away. That sounds fantastic for only five. Of course, I don't know what the cards will be. But I can pay for that partially with titanium. Livestock, definitely no good, pretty useless in the solo game. And then lava flows, which would increase my temperature, but I really don't know how much I need that because I'm going to be getting a lot more heat when I play robotic workforce. So I'm just going to get rid of all of those, and I'm going to take technology demonstration. Keep that in my hand. All right, so what can we do here? So first thing we can do is increase our heat or our temperature by one. Now it's at negative 10. We'll move terraform rating up and we have a card that can be played at negative 10 degrees. It's bushes. So let's go ahead and play bushes which costs me 10 and we're gonna get two more um, plant production and two plants which means I should have enough to actually place a greenery tile now. I got one, two, three, four, five. What is that? Just the perfect amount. I've got eight greenery. So you can only place a greenery tile in certain places. You have to place it next to a tile you own if possible. So unfortunately, since I already placed this tile here, I can only place my future greenery tiles next to it, which means I can put one here and grab another free card. Um, or I can start working my, up, my way up to here where I can get more uh, plants. But I know that I'm going to be wanting to place eventually next to my oceans because when you place next to oceans you get some free mega credits. So I think I'm going to um, play one here so I get a free card and then I can work my way up here and hopefully at that point I will be putting some oceans down here and get some mega credits for that. So I'm gonna play those eight plants and I will put down a greenery tile right here. I will claim ownership of that tile, increase oxygen by one, increase terraform rating by one, and draw a free card, which is a research outpost. When you play a card, you pay one mega credits less for it. That looks fantastic. And I get to place a city as well when I do that. And that's that's a pretty good card. I, it says place it next to no other tile. So I'm gonna have to put it somewhere strategic. Um, that's a really good card, and I can pay for it partially with steel, which is really nice. But I think I want, um, let's see, can I afford at this point to do my aerobraked ammonia asteroid? Because I think I'd really like to do that. So that's 3, 6, 9, 12, um, 22. Three, six, nine, twelve, twenty-two, twenty-seven, and then I get one in change. Yeah, we'll grab that. So we're gonna spend that titanium plus ten plus five. So that's twelve, twenty-seven, like I said, and I get one in change, and I'm going to get this aerobraked ammonia asteroid, which means I 
increase my heat production by three. I'm now producing 13 heat every round and increase my plant production by one. I'm now producing five plants every round. If I can get to that sweet spot of producing eight plants every round, I would be able to put out a greenery tile every round, which means I get one free oxygen production every round. So that's kind of my goal if I can do that. Um, but now I'm out of money. So for instance, I could build a robotic work, I can't really afford a robotic workforce anymore. I could build the technology demonstration, but it's better, I think, to wait one round or two and pay for it with titanium. Um, and then I can't build my tundra farming or permafrost extraction quite yet. I need to increase my energy production or my uh, temperature just a little bit first. So what I can do is take a look at what the Inventors Guild has, just in case I want to purchase it. The search for life. Um, this looks like a VP card, so I'm going to ignore that one. And the business network, see what they've got for me. Um, an asteroid. Uh, raise temperature one step, gain two titanium. I'm going to ignore this one as well. I've always got a chance to raise temperature. That's going to be the easiest thing for me to do. But, you know, it's always nice to get that option to have those extra cards because you might just every once in a while get that perfect card that you really need. Um, so let's, uh, I guess, wrap up the turn. Uh, let's see, is there anything else I can do? No, I don't think so. So I'm going to move this over into waste heat. I'm going to get my now 27 mega credits. One more steel. One more titanium. And wasn't there something I was going to build with steel? The research outpost. When you play a card, play one mega credit less for it. Well, I still can do that next turn. I'm going to get five plants, one energy, and 13. One, two, three. 13 heat. Perfect. Okay, so uh, that's it for this generation. All right, welcome back to Terraforming Mars. We're really cutting it close. We're going on to generation 10. So let's see what we got in store for us. Um, magnetic field generators. This would be great, but I would need to decrease my energy production by four. Uh, but it would give me plus three terraform rating and plus two plants. I don't think I can get it in this game. Uh, GHG producing bacteria, either add one microbe to this card or remove two microbes to raise the temperature one step. This would be great if I weren't um, already so high up on the temperature track and so late in the game. Methane from Titan, this could be good and I can get 2% oxygen pretty soon. It is an expensive card though. And then Earth Catapult I definitely want to get because when I play a card, I pay two mega credits less for it. It's got an earth tag, so I pay three less to play this card. It is also quite expensive though. Um, so the question is, how soon will I be able to play the earth catapult? Uh, let me see. If I play the earth catapult as my next card, that would give me a discount of uh, two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. 12. Um, on all of the remaining cards that I have in my hand, let's say 14, which doesn't even quite pay for itself. I'd be paying 20 to get a discount of 14. So I'm thinking maybe it's too late in the game to be playing Earth Catapult. I mean, it is a great card. I definitely want this Methane from Titan. Yeah, I think, you know, as much as I want to get that discount, I'm trying to think of how many more cards I'm going to play over the course of the game. Is it really going to be 10 more cards after Earth Catapult? Because that's what I would need just to break even on playing Earth Catapult. But it also gives me two victory points if I do make it to the end of the game. Hmm. Let me see. You know, most games I would pick this up automatically, but 
trying to be very strategic about this and really think things through. I mean, if I get some a lot of cheap cards, this could be very, very useful because I could just pick up a lot of very cheap cards. Each of those cards is going to cost me three. Yeah, we'll buy it. I mean, the worst case scenario, I'm spending two mega credits on a card that I'll never play now because I'm going to play it in, uh, right away. Hmm. What do I want to do this turn? I definitely want to do permafrost extraction. And I definitely think what I want to do the robotic uh, workforce. So that's 17 already. I've got 25, about 29, 17, 29. I don't have enough to play Earth Catapult this turn. If I don't play Earth Catapult this turn, well, let me see, this would actually be six and this would be seven, so it would be 13. Um, I have 29. If I paid for some with heat, I could do all that this turn. I'm, get, I'm thinking I'm not going to get the Earth Catapult. I'm just going to ignore it. This would be really great early in the game. I'm not going to get it this, this game. So the only thing I'm getting is the Methane from Titan, which is going to give me two more plants every round and two more heat every round. Okay, so I'm going to spend three on that. I don't even know if Methane from Titan is a good idea, though, because it's such an expensive card. I don't really have the Titanium production to pay for it. I'm not going to even going to get Methane from Titan. I'm just going to focus on what I have. So I'm not buying any of these cards this round. Okay, let's focus on getting the cards that I have already played because I think I'm going to start getting some more synergies soon. So I'm going to start by increasing temperature, get two change from that, increase temperature by one, and that gives me one more terraform rating, and then allows me to play permafrost extraction. So I'm going to pay that, pay 10, get two in exchange, and I can place one ocean tile. So place my first ocean tile. I think I'm going to put it right here where I'm going to get two plants for placing that ocean tile. And because I have Arctic algae, I'm also going to get two additional plants for placing that ocean tile. So hopefully that will start to pay off as I place these nine ocean tiles. That's 18 additional plants, which gets me uh, two additional greeneries. Which, eh, it's something. Um, and then I can increase my temperature one more. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to increase temperature one more step. Now it's at negative six degrees. Uh, terraform rating is at 29, which means I can also do tundra farming, which I think I would like to do, um, which means I'm probably not going to do the robotic workforce this round. Um, but that's okay. I think tundra farming is more important. Uh, so what was the robotic workforce going to do for me? I think I was going to reproduce the greenhouse gas factories, which is four additional heat every round. Yeah, I think that's fine. We'll, we'll wait on that. So we're going to buy this, that's 16. And we're going to start tundra farming, which means I increase my plant production one more and mega credit production by two, and I get a plant. So now, as you can see, I've got enough plants to put out another greenery tile. And can't do anything really exciting with it. I just have to put it next to an existing greenery tile. Um, you know, if I had put that ocean here, I would have one fewer, fewer greenery tile now, but I could get some money. So I'm gonna do that instead. So I put one of my greenery tile, well, or, sorry, one of my plants back. I'm gonna put my greenery tile out there. So I get a couple of effects here. Nothing from playing in that space, but I do get one oxygen, which increases my terraform rating. I do get, I believe, two mega credits for placing next to an ocean. Yep, 
two more mega credits for placing next to an ocean. Um, yeah, that's a pretty good thing. And then I should be able to hopefully put out more oceans fairly soon. As I bump this up, I'll get another ocean out. Yeah, that'll be good. Um, should I play this research outpost at this point? I mean, it costs steel, so there's that. Let me, two, four, six, eight, ten. So I'd only be paying eight for it out of my actual mega credits. And it, co it makes every card I play cost one fewer. And I get to place a tile out that's not adjacent to any other tiles. So for instance, I could put it up here and get two more plants. That might be a good move. Okay, I rechecked my finance situation, and actually I will not be able to afford that. I'm one mega credit short of being able to play that card this round, which is fine. There's no huge benefit of playing it this round as opposed to next round. So I think we're good. Um, and I really hope I'm going to be able to afford to get those ocean tiles out. That's the main concern now. I'm probably going to be doing it with aquifers. So uh, I really hope I can afford that. But I think we're going to end the round here. Well, no, actually, we can look and see what Inventor's Guild has. Maybe something will give me oceans. Decomposers, which is a victory point kind of card. We'll ignore that. And Business Network. Let's see. Toll Station. Increase your mega credit production one step for each space tag your opponents have. Not going to do me any good in the solo game. So we can ignore that one as well. As you can see, there's a lot of cards that you just don't use in the solo game. At the same time, the fact that there's all of those cards that you don't end up using, the solo game actually ends up being a really nice challenge. It's just you don't use a lot of the cards. So the solo game and the multiplayer game remain very separate, where you can play the solo game a lot and have a lot of fun with it and get really good at it and still play the multiplayer game and find new challenges there. There's a lot of things different about them. In any case, I think that's it for that. Um, so I didn't find anything useful on either of those. Just had bad luck with those cards today. Um, we're going to move my energy up to Waste Heat, and we're going to get my new Mega Credit Production, which is 31. So now we're starting to get more money. One more Steel. One more Titanium. Six more Plants. Almost enough to get another greenery tile. One more energy and 13 more heat. Okay, and uh, let's move up to the next generation. We're on generation 11, which means we really only have a few generations left in the game. So I think we're going to end this video here and we'll have the, the last four generations be the final video. So if you enjoyed this, I hope you stick around for the last few generations. See if I can pull off moving the oxygen and the oceans up. I don't know if I can, but we'll see. Um, and uh, I hope to see you around then.